Hey guys, welcome back to some AFK Journey. Thank you for joining us for day two. That is right, this is the second day that we are into AFK Journey. Guild is finally up and the battle drills are unlocked, which means that we can go in here. We've already made it to level three for Vanguards. That is the guild that we started. That is the guild that we are gonna run. So battle drills, you can see up in this top left, you can see the boss killers, you can see the hot nukers. Going through here and doing battle drills are super important because this gives you an exponential amount of loot. This is one of the big focuses. And I wanna run through here, show kind of the breakdown of how to do this. So of course, this is the Stormkeep. This is kind of your headquarters. You can see the camp members that we have down here. So a lot of people, you have to be active in your guilds, period. If you're not active, this is going to hurt your guild and hurt it exponentially if you don't have the ability to lock up and get all of these buffs because you don't have players in here. Now, this is the command center. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna drop in some of my heroes. Now, of course, this can be very specific or very different depending on where you are and depending what heroes essentially you have built and which heroes you're kind of putting in here into a bunch of different places. So of course, priority wise, Cecilia in here, Odie in here, we also do want um, Krugar in here. We want some tanks in here, which I'm gonna put in. We want some support heroes in here. So pretty much everyone. And as you can see, it shows we can deploy 10 of our heroes. So I'm gonna do just that guys. We have a couple tanks in there. Go ahead and deploy, or we can actually go down here and auto deploy. I wonder who it's gonna auto deploy. Almost the exact same one. So there we go. It picked our 10 strongest heroes. Auto deploy, let's go ahead and deploy these heroes. Confirm to deploy them. You can deploy different heroes if you're not satisfied. So we can always come back and we can switch heroes if we do need to. Um, again, we're kind of keeping the ones that we have right now. We don't want to switch the heroes. So we are good. The battle drill offers different types of battles. Let's start by tackling the passage bra. Now this is how you move from one area to another. You can see how many enemies are in here. You can also see the difficulty of the enemies that we have within here. Now this gets exponentially tougher. That is something to remember. That is why not only as you're going through these battle drills and as you're leveling up, the players in your guild have to get stronger. They have to get more rewards. They have to level up as well. If not, it's going to be incredibly difficult. Heroes can't be deployed once their stamina is used. Don't worry, as stamina is um, restored daily. You can see the battle drill in here. I think this is gonna be a pretty easy one. Well, they're on 71 as well. Their attack power is right up there. So we have 28K. So let's put in our tank. We'll throw in Entendro, our first tank. Second tank I'm gonna leave because I... Actually, let me see. Let me throw in my regular team in here. So I'm gonna put Smokey in here like we normally do. Um, we have our tank. I'm gonna put... I'm thinking off tank here, let's go this route. There we go, so there's our five. This is gonna be our off tank here with Valin. And then of course we have our artifact. Let's go ahead and battle. Some of these we've came in and it's incredibly difficult and we just got wrecked when we came in here. Some of these has been easy. Now you'll see the initial targets went down and there's more enemies that came up. So we're going through and you can see the count on our left hand side on how many enemies are here. We have two, we have one. And boom, there we go, zero enemies. So that camp is effectively taken out of here. So again, you need a multitude of heroes to get through the content. That is complete, and there we go. So we have regular guards down here, which of course are stronger. Um, the easy guards are much easier just based on the attack. So again, FHG defeated easy ones right there, defeated common ones. Let me check out the regular ones. I'm just kind of wondering how much stronger they are and overall. That's a lot stronger, wow. And I'm wondering if this is kind of based off of what we do have built. This might be a little bit tougher where we're gonna to have to essentially expedite or use a lot more stamina. I'm wondering how it's gonna hold up. Let's see if, if the, I know the power rating is a lot higher, but let's see really what that means. Because I know once we do get right there, once we get Cecilia up, um, absolute game changer in there. I think we can get this pretty easy. Worried a little bit about the combat rating or the combat power. Now, of course, once we go through here and once we take out the boss, um, once the boss is defeated, if this is tiered, similar to what we see with the Dream Realm, you'll go through there and once you do finish out a certain point, um, you'll move on to the next point. And then once you go through there, you'll essentially level your way up going through all of this content little by little. Now see that team is expired for the stamina. I'm gonna put my tank in here. I'm gonna put all of these heroes. Now we have Odie in here, which is really good as a boss killer. 
I think a lot of people just save the stamina on a hero like Odie um, to go ahead and, and fight. But again, this is the first time we've been in here. I wanna see if we can get through a lot of this content, take out some of these camps. And I'm really hoping, and I know a lot of you wanna get into the guild. Um, as we gain levels, I believe we can have more players in the guild. Right now it's pretty basic. We don't have that many players in there, but overall taking out the rough trails right here and taking out camps of enemies is gonna make a big difference. And of course, like they said, stamina comes back every day. There we go, so we're down to 46. So we have, I think, 46 camps. I'm thinking that might be 46 camps, guys. That's If that's the case, let me run this one more time. I know we had 10 active, but I think we have 30 players in the guild right now, but only 10 were active at the moment. Again, inactivity in the guild. And um, D2 and a couple of us that, that kind of founded this guild, um, if you're inactive for two days, very similar to AFK Arena because in here, guilds are important. Guilds are very, very, very important. There we go. We got a reward of a treasure key right there. And when we're done with this, yeah, and that takes us to 45. So we have to get through 45 more camps. And I'm not sure there's guild loot. Let's go ahead and check it out. There we go. All reputation treasure is right here. I'll participate in a battle. There we go. So we're collecting up some treasure. Reputation level going up. Claim the grand prize after the reputation is up. We used our stamina. We completed a battle. We won a bra. There we go. Level one reputation. And as you can see, they're going to go higher and higher. Reputation level two. We get some more keys. Definitely want to make sure you get to two, if not higher, because it looks like there is quite a few in here to build up. All right. So good there. I wonder, can we pick it up? We get the loot. We get the loot right now. Now, of course, Chess of Valor, um, choose a treasure to unlock. Wondering what the difference, let's see. So here we have a lot more diamonds. Here we have those guild. Now the guild medals, of course, are gonna allow you to get more of those heroes. I am thinking the adventures, even though the summons are pretty good here, you have a chance at 3,000 diamonds. Yeah, let's do the adventure. Let's go ahead, we got what, four keys here, boom. Treasure found, so we got 160 of these and we did get an invitation letter. Um, so yeah, as we accumulate those keys, we're gonna go ahead and use them. 45 more camps, so if you're in the guild, guys, you gotta get through 45 more camps. And then of course, we're gonna be up here on the final boss, looking at the 500 diamonds right there. Absolutely wanna pick up those diamonds. And look in here, where are we at? We're at 45, so occupy the stronghold. We have one right now. Again, we are making a little bit of progression in here with all the players. Hop in here because, of course, this also goes into and towards the guild chest. When you're doing the activity in here, you want to get through here. And again, we got to get a little bit more activity for all of the heroes in here and making sure they are all active. Because like I said, if they're not active in here, um, we're going to be removing players that are not active and do not contribute to the guild itself because this is such a big, big, important aspect. Now, of course, with the battle drills, you get a lot of your guild coin now in the Emporium. The guild store is huge because, of course, this has your Celestial and your Hypo heroes. But in addition, as you get a little bit further, this is actually going to house, um, once we unlock the Stargazer, which we're really focusing on, it houses the item that you can do summons in the Stargazer for. And I think they're, they're Star Crystals, or I, I forget the exact name of them. But also I wanted to point out, when you look at this, so the daily refresh, the invitation letter, and this was kind of brought to my attention, um, since we're looking at even a multitude of summons, let's say we do our 10 summons in there, the 10 summons are gonna be 270 diamonds for a 10 summons if we are buying them, diff or if we're buying them discounted, if we do the 10 summons, buying this at 2,100 or 210 um, is gonna make a big difference. So buying them out of here every single day with these, are going to be cheaper than buying them actually out of the Noble Tavern. So you wanna make sure that you're going in there and you're getting those out on a regular basis. Now, mail, of course, the guild leveled up, which is awesome to see. We're making some progression. The guild has effectively been increased in level and we'll get there, guys. Again, it takes time. This is literally just the beginning of the second day. Now in here, I am not looking for Vala as much as I would like her to having her for the PVP aspect, the all hero recruitments are cheaper. They are 2,700 diamonds versus this one, which of course is 3,000. And I'm hoping at the point we can get some heroes. Boom, there's a couple more copies. 
absolutely want to pick those up. Two more copies. So we got some more of Leica and Valen. There we go. Recruit 150. So we're ha almost halfway, guys. We're getting there. Max AFK time plus one. Now, of course, going in here, when we look at our Porium, what we're focusing on in here in the Dream Store is Odie. So Odie and Kruger are the two, especially looking here, if you have an opportunity, buy the copies of Odie. Um, the reason being, when you look at this hero, when you look at a lot of the aspects, a lot of the Dream Realm, a lot of different aspects of this game are running him in the entirety. He is a hero you 100% do want to build out and build out in really a big way. So as we continue going through here, we want to max him out. We're going to build him out because the effectiveness of this hero is huge. And then, of course, Kruger, the same. Kruger is in a lot of the boss ones for the debuff. However, you want to keep him alive. He's not going to be able to do a lot of the effectiveness if the hero is dead. So both of those, again, are pretty big priority to build out, which interesting enough, because looking at the heroes in this game, um, Graveborn and Maulers are the two strongest right now. The Wilders and, of course, the Light Bears are the two weakest. And then out of the Celestials and the Hypos, there's one that is really good, which is Rainier, um, that players are saying to absolutely build out in his entirety. So very cool, guys. I love the guild aspect of this. This is such a very, very cool thing to have for these battle drills. Um, I wish the implementation of really working as a guild and bringing this together would be brought into other games that a, that Lilith has. Um, but overall, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.